full disclosure, I would have no problem and I would gleefully accept if my alma mater offered me a similar position as GM of the Houston Cougars men's basketball program. Yeah. So as you're watching this show on Thursday, hint, 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 I don't know. There are some folks over there who have open for business who share some duty similar to a GM. But if you want to make it a full allocation GM and you want to say you have somebody in mind, I volunteer myself for the job <laughs> as long as we can agree to a salary. And I'm pretty sure that will not be a problem. So, but there's no, reloc no relocation costs. All of that you can know, start immediately. Sure could. I, I love my school. I have a lot of contacts. I know basketball. I, I know the. I, I'm in the NIL landscape. I'm just saying, putting it out there, Coach Kelvin Sampson and others out there who know me and have worked with me and respect me and respect what I do and uh, appreciate what I do and say that I'm fair and, and all of that. Just putting it out there if you want. Because I'll say this, KP, on the football side, I know the Rice Owls have a general manager. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's the trend. So it is the trend. So I'm just putting it out there. Coach Sampson and other coaches on staff, whatever. <clears throat> I'm shifting gears on slide. But I also want to say this. Salute to Woj going out on his own terms, leaving on his own terms, landing on his own feet, getting to work for his alma mater. Almost, I want to say how many, what percentage of his tweets are about the Bonnie St. Bonaventure. But he puts it in there as, as often as he can. So salute to him. It is a pay cut. You know, he's making like almost $7 million per at ESPN. But peace of mind, he said that he was tired. He was not looking forward to another season of NBA of only getting three hours of sleep. Right. I mean, good for him. God bless. Yeah. Because that you, is you, not. You go, you go into a welcoming environment with like-minded people and, um, warm, fuzzy feelings, you know, and then like, yeah, you, it, you're just worried about one team, yeah, <laughs> you know, and making that team and that program and that department as good as it can be. So you're not him, having to, you know, just be agree. on call constantly. And that's one. It's part of. I'm not woes, clearly. But one of the issues, my umbrella, the Houston Round Ball Review umbrella is so vast because I don't just cover the kooks. Mm -hmm. right. I cover Rice and TSU and HCU and the Big 12 and the American and the NCAA, men's and women's team. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so it's a lot of my play by choice. But I would have no problem if my – plate got lighter my workflow got lighter my sleep habits improved and so did my peace of mind and my bank account honestly <laughs> you know security hey. would be right. first to most foremost right there 